Hi, everyone. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? Okay, awesome. Um, my name's Amy Unruh. I'm the Waste Recovery Manager with I Live a Clean San Diego, and here to talk to you today about how we are closing the loop one swap at a time. We'll talk about how free stuff promotes a circular economy and community connection. So an agenda for this very short presentation. First, I'm just gonna give a little bit of background on I Live a Clean San Diego. We'll look at textile waste at a glance, what it looks like today in the US. Uh, we'll talk about I Live a Clean San Diego's clothing swaps and kind of how we model them. And then we'll talk about some of the impact that we've had so far. So I Live a Clean San Diego, if you haven't heard of it, it's a local nonprofit organization. We focus on environmental work. We're actually located just across the street right over here. Uh, we were founded in 1954, and we're best known for our cleanups, but we have a lot of different kinds of programs. We have community and youth education programs. We have a hazardous waste hotline. Um, we do different kinds of community events, a school recycling program, and a lot of different other kinds of programs. Um, so really what we're doing is assisting residents, businesses, schools, and community members in implementing zero waste and recycling practices. Our mission is to lead and inspire our community to actively conserve and enhance the environment through example, outreach, and local involvement. And we have a vision of a zero waste, litter free, and environmentally engaged San Diego region. Um, so I just want to jump into textile production and consumption in the USA today. So if you see this chart on the left-hand side, this was pulled from the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Um, and it talks about what happens to clothes after they're used for the first time. So after someone purchases an article of clothing, what happens to it once they're done using it? As it stands, 85% of clothes are discarded. And so when it's discarded, it's going to a landfill or straight to an incinerator, which is a pretty astounding number. Only 15% are donated um, to charity, charity or to thrift stores. Of that 15%, 20% is resold at that, um, at that secondhand store, and 80% of it is going to different, um, different kinds of waste streams. 45%, which is a huge number, is going to um, different countries. And 5% is still being discarded. And there are some uh, items that are being recycled, used in insulation, and things like that. Um, about a, uh, we produce about 103 pounds of textile waste per year on average per person. Um, so that might not seem like a 10, but if you think of all the people in this room, it adds up to be quite a lot. As we talked about, 85% of those textiles are um, just thrown away directly. And the textile waste, textile industry is uh, responsible for 10% of greenhouse gas emissions. So it's an industry that is causing climate change. And I Live a Clean San Diego sees this as a place where we can really make an impact. So our swap parties at I Live a Clean San Diego. We have a model where you can bring something if you'd like and you can take something if you'd like, but you don't need to bring something in order to take something and the opposite is also true. We've built up an inventory at this point where if you want to just come by and, and take some clothes, that's completely fine. Um, and we like that model because no matter if you're donating things or if you're taking things from our swap events, you're contributing to a circular economy and you're ultimately helping out the environment. Um, one of the other things we try to do at our swap events is track our metrics. One of the most important things that we track is the weight of, of clothes that are coming into us and the weight of clothes that are um, being taken home. And that's really important to track because we can find out which communities are most in need and which communities um, are getting the most donations and we can kind of tailor our programs based on that data. Um, we also do education at our swap parties, so we try not to just have a swap party be a place where people can shop till they drop, um, but we really try to uh, incorporate the why in there. So we have educational banners, we have infographics, flyers, and we also educate just through conversations that we have with attendees that, that come. Um, and then lastly, we really try to prioritize accessibility. So we prioritize the communities that are in need. Um, 
We try to go to areas that have good access to public transportation. Um, and we try to source things, um, or we try to have our events based around things that community members are actually wanting. Uh, for example, in December, we'll have a toy swap so folks can come and get toys for their kids or for their nieces and nephews um, that they don't have to go out and then buy new, brand new toys. The toys that we have are in really good condition, so it's a really good way to promote a circular economy and prevent um, natural resources from, from uh, being mined. All right, so really what we're doing through these swap events is we're promoting sustainability and community. Um, the unusable items that we get are donated uh, to a California textile recycler who uses those um, to make insulation. We also partner with local uh, nonprofit thrift stores and secondhand stores, so we know that the clothes are going to the right place. Um, we form partnerships with different organizations to host these events, so we get a really wide array of people who, who join us. And through that, we also get a very multi-generational turnout, which is great for promoting that community connection. And we host our swap events in libraries, community spaces, parks, and so we're getting people from all walks of life, um, which has been just really rewarding. All right, and that's all. It was a pretty short presentation for me. Um, my contact info is up here, and if you want to learn about any of our swaps, you can go to cleansd.org events. We have them all listed there for the next few months. Thanks. Thank